The GW24 rotary glass washer is a unique glass washer that combines the efficient water and chemical consumption of a fill and dump glass washer with the convenient operating features of a rotary glass washer. The GW24 is a low temperature chemical sanitizing glass washer that relies on the hot water supplied by a hot water heater. Since the GW24 does not hold the rinse water for the next wash cycle, it does not have a maintenance heater. Because of this feature, the GW24 only requires a 120 volt electrical outlet for power. Upon installation, the GW24 glass washer is connected to hot and cold water supply lines. The hot water supply needs to be a minimum of 130 degrees Fahrenheit or 54 degrees Celsius to ensure a minimum wash temperature of 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. Hot water supply temperatures should not exceed 150 degrees Fahrenheit or 66 degrees Celsius. There is no minimum temperature for the cold water supply. A control module automatically tempers the rinse water based on the temperature setting. Rinse water temperatures down to 75 degrees Fahrenheit or 24 degrees Celsius can be achieved. This makes freshly washed glassware cool and easy to handle. Before operating the GW24 glass washer, the water fill level and rinse water temperature needs to be adjusted as outlined in the GW24 operation manual and the GW24 setup video. The GW24 uses three types of chemicals, commercial grade low sudsing detergent, chlorine based sanitizer, and a rinse aid. When the GW24 is first installed and whenever chemicals run out, the chemical pumps will need to be primed. This ensures the chemicals are flowing properly into the machine. Make sure the chemical lines are in the correct chemical container and press the prime button on the control panel. Pressing the detergent prime button will activate the detergent pump. Pressing the sanitizer rinse aid prime button will activate both the sanitizer and rinse aid pumps. Priming the chemical pumps draws chemicals into the chemical lines. By opening the sliding cover you can see the chemicals dripping into the machine. Please note, commercial grade glass washer chemicals are very harsh and should not come in contact with the skin. If your skin should come in contact with the glass washer chemicals, rinse the affected area immediately with water. Priming the chemical pumps places undiluted chemicals into the glass washer. If left to sit, these chemicals can cause damage to the interior of the machine. Always run the glass washer immediately after priming the chemical pumps as this will rinse the chemicals out of the machine. Another important note is that chemicals need to be adjusted before the machine is used for the first time. Adjusting the pumps allows the right amount of each chemical to flow into the machine for the best wash results. The chemical pumps are easily adjusted using the circuit board located inside the base of the unit. Please refer to the operation manual for more complete information on adjusting the chemical pumps. Loading the GW24 conveyor is as simple as placing glasses onto the conveyor. The conveyor can be advanced by pressing the conveyor advance button, allowing easier access to free space on the conveyor. Do not manually rotate the conveyor as damage to the conveyor drive system may occur. To run a cycle, close the sliding cover and press the start button on the control panel. Water from the hot water supply line will start entering the machine. The drain may delay closing for up to 15 seconds if hot water is not sensed. When hot water is sensed, the drain stopper is automatically lowered, the tank fills with water and the detergent pump begins pumping detergent into the water. During the wash cycle, the glass rack rotates inside the machine as a mixture of water and detergent is sprayed out of the spray box onto the glassware. The GW24 has a sliding cover that allows you to check the water level and see if the drain stopper is up or down, or if chemicals are getting dispensed into the machine. The sliding cover has an interlock switch. The wash pump and conveyor will not start if the cover is open. If the sliding cover is open during the wash cycle while the wash pump and conveyor are running, the cycle will pause. The red and green indicator lights on the control panel will flash alternately to indicate that a cycle has been interrupted. If the sliding cover is left open for more than 30 seconds, the glass washer will drain and reset, requiring that a new cycle be started to continue. When the wash cycle is complete, the drain stopper automatically rises, draining the wash water. The tank is rinsed with clean water for 5 seconds and then the drain stopper is lowered again as the machine fills up with water. The chemical pumps begin pumping sanitizer and rinse aid into the machine for the rinse cycle. The rinse cycle lasts 20 seconds. Once the rinse cycle is complete, the drain stopper rises, draining the rinse water from the machine. The glassware is now ready to be removed from the machine. Place the glasses on a draining surface, allowing them to dry thoroughly. If glassware appears soapy or greasy when the wash and rinse cycles are completed, or if there is a chemical smell to the glassware, then the chemicals should be checked 
making sure none of the containers are empty or that none of the feed lines are in the wrong container. If the chemicals are full and there is no problem with the feed lines, check the chemical level adjustments. Proper chemical adjustment will result in clean, clear glassware with no chemical odor. At the end of each day, the GW24 glass washer should be thoroughly cleaned. The cleaning process is a simple procedure that does not involve any tools. Remove drain board insert, drain board pan, sliding cover, and inner cover. Wipe down each part as necessary with a clean damp cloth. Remove the conveyor wheel, rinse and wipe it down as necessary. Any large debris found inside the machine, like broken glass, lemon seeds, stir sticks, and so on, should also be removed. Remove and scrub the spray box with a nylon brush, making sure all of the spray holes are clear. Remove and clean the spray box gasket and tank screen. Remove and wipe down the drain stopper. Remove any debris from the lower wash tank, making sure nothing is clogging the pump inlet screen. The pump inlet screen can also be removed for cleaning if necessary. Remove the scrap tray and empty out any debris that may have passed through the tank screen. Use a damp cloth to wipe down the entire wash tank. For more stubborn stains, use a nylon brush or a Scotch-Brite pad. Never use steel wool to clean stainless steel, as steel wool will cause the stainless steel to rust. Finally, reassemble the machine and you are ready to start the next day. Over time, the interior of the machine will get coated with a white chalky substance from the minerals found in tap water. The GW24 glass washer has a separate deliming cycle to clean these mineral deposits from your machine. How often you need to delime your machine will depend on what type of water you have. To run a delime cycle, make sure that the conveyor is empty and press the deliming button on the control panel. During the water fill cycle, open the sliding cover and pour deliming chemicals into the tank and close the sliding cover. The GW24 holds one and a quarter gallons of water, so add the appropriate amount of deliming solution based on the chemical manufacturer's instructions. Deliming chemicals are hazardous, so be sure to follow manufacturer's instructions very carefully. The deliming cycle consists of a five minute wash cycle and two rinse cycles to thoroughly rinse deliming chemicals from the glass washer. The red in use light will turn off when the deliming cycle is completed. One important final note, the GW24 glass washer has an integral drain board top for glassware storage. To maximize the throughput of your GW24, make sure that it is installed with your glass washing workflow in mind. For example, it may be beneficial to dump wet waste in a wet waste sink on one side of the glass washer, use the drain board top as a landing area for dirty glassware, and unload clean glassware from the glass washer to a drain board on the other side of the glass washer. This simple layout is available as the GWS66 glass washing station. Please talk to our bar design experts to determine the best layout for your glass washing workflow. Please refer to the GW24 Glass Washer Operation Manual for more information or visit our website at www.glasstender.com. You may also contact our factory and speak with one of our technical service representatives.